Hi Puzzle Fam, this is Richard, aka Piece by Piece Puzzler. It's been a little while since I made a new video, so I wanted to talk to you today about one of my very favorite puzzle brands. They're called Liberty Puzzles, and they make absolutely gorgeous wooden puzzles in their puzzle factory in Boulder, Colorado. So earlier in the pandemic, my friend Robin had mentioned this puzzle company to me because she had done a few of their puzzles. And I really admired the pictures she had posted of them on Facebook. So I went on their website to try to buy one of their puzzles. Now at the time, because of the craze for puzzles during the early days of the pandemic, there was a wait list of about three or four months just to buy one of their puzzles. So I put my email address on the list and in a few months time, my name came up and I was able to buy a really beautiful wooden puzzle of Piccadilly Circus in London that I absolutely loved. I'll show a picture of it here so that you can take a look at it. And the other week I was looking at the Facebook group that I'm in all about wooden puzzles and one of the group members there had posted a picture of this really cool puzzle called The Beast King with artwork by Annie Waldusky. So I posted a comment there and I suggested that perhaps she wanted to trade her Beast King puzzle for my Piccadilly Circus puzzle. And fortunately she accepted and we exchanged puzzles last weekend. And I thought that perhaps this would be a good puzzle to make a video about because I really, really love this image and I have never really featured a larger wooden puzzle on this channel. So I wanted to sort of give you a sense of what doing a wooden puzzle is like and how it might be a little bit different from a cardboard puzzle. Um, some of the ways that it differs really are the way that the pieces fit together. There are often much more unique and whimsical cuts to wooden puzzles, which really make it a fun process to put one together. Um, there might be spirals in there. There are sometimes really intricate whimsy pieces that are specific to the theme of the puzzle. And that just kind of makes it a little bit more fun than some of the cardboard puzzles that are traditionally on the market. So without further ado, I am going to get into this puzzle and I will check in with you at some point to show you how it's going and to give you some of my thoughts along the way. So I've just finished laying out all of the pieces of the puzzle. Most wooden puzzles, when you lay out all the pieces, they will fit on the surface of one puzzle board, as opposed to cardboard puzzles where a lot of times if it's a thousand pieces, you really couldn't lay them all flat on one surface to look at them all. So what I like to do normally when I'm doing a Liberty puzzle especially is to lay out the puzzles all along the border of the puzzle board. And then what I do is I choose one section of the image and then I isolate the pieces that match that uh, visual quality. And then I start putting those in section by section. So right now I have all of the edge pieces separated out in the middle. And I plan on trying to get those together as much as I can, though the border is very similar colored. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get them all in the first go. And then I think my plan is, looking at the image, to choose these sections with the flowery pattern on the bottom of the puzzle and put those together next and then move on to different sections of the image and go from there.
So I'm very, very close to finishing the puzzle. This one has been an absolute blast. And basically all I have left are these assorted horn pieces. Some of these red pieces over here, which are part of the wings. And also some of the pieces that are the tree trunks in the background that you'll see in the image here. So I'm looking forward to finishing it up soon and then I'll give you my final thoughts. just finished The Beast King and it was a really, really great puzzle. I had so much fun with this. I love the quirky imagery of it. Um, there's some text on the puzzle that reads, Supreme Ruler of All Unimagined Beasts. And at the bottom it says Bestia Rex or The Beast King. So I just kind of enjoyed this quirky character that, that the artist painted on the puzzle. It kind of reminded me a little bit of where the wild things are, but sort of mixed with some kind of like magical rites in the forest or something, um, and a little bit of tarot imagery perhaps. And, you know, I've been reading a lot of Anne Rice lately and kind of thinking about a lot of dark supernatural themes. So this puzzle was exactly what I was looking for in this moment. So I really enjoyed this puzzle and it was in keeping with the other Liberty puzzles that I've done in the past. I did a really wonderful octopus puzzle designed by Linen Aksumit. I hope I'm saying that name correctly. And I did another puzzle from Liberty called Leopard, which is actually hanging on our apartment wall because we love that one so much. And I have another great one that I have lined up to do, which is called Holy Raja, and that's also designed by Linen Aksumit. So I'm really looking forward to that one as well. So in short, this was another great Liberty puzzle. And before we go, I'm going to attempt to do one more thing with this puzzle, which is to show you the back side of the wooden puzzle. Now with a normal jigsaw puzzle, typically the back side of the puzzle is really nothing much to see. But with wooden puzzles, it really gives you a great opportunity to see some of the whimsy pieces within the puzzle and to see the craftsmanship that went into making this really fantastic wooden puzzle. So without further ado, I'm going to attempt to do this on camera. I'm going to try to slide the puzzle onto a piece of poster board, and then I'm going to try to use two pieces of foam core board to flip the puzzle over so I can show you the backside. Let's get into that. So now you can see the back side of the puzzle and all of the really cool, intricate, um, whimsy pieces that are included in it. So you see there's a werewolf right there. There is a dragon. There is some kind of monster with sort of a pincer for a head. Um, there is a... Sort of a wanderer uh, here with a staff. There's a unicorn. There is some sort of mage. There's a centaur. So there are all kinds of really cool images in here. I think I also see um, perhaps a fairy of some sort right there uh, with wings. And I love this center part that's got this interesting sort of sun design. So I really hope you enjoyed this Liberty Puzzle video. If you've done a Liberty Puzzle, I would love to hear from you in the comments as to which one you did and how you liked it. And also, please make sure you click the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with all the content I'll be posting in the coming weeks. So without further ado, until the next video, happy puzzling.